Hey, good morning, guys. My name is Jonathan. I'm doing another review video for this morning. Uh, today is uh, Thursday, June 10th. Right now it's 10 a.m. in the morning. Um, so what I have in front of me right here, uh, quickly show you guys. What I have in front of me is a leg stretcher. I don't know if you guys have seen one of these before. And what it's supposed to do is that it's supposed to help spread your leg open like why open up spread it um i got this from walmart for roughly about 16 dollars. so like i was saying i got this uh from walmart online uh i think about 16 17 dollars i don't exactly remember it didn't cost too much uh came pretty quick um yeah and let me quickly show you guys what it came so obviously you got these uh three piece uh leg well, they call it leg stretcher, but it also called like leg ex extension or something like that. So you got three pieces of that. Um, you got yourself a, a, a grip, two additional grip right there. You also get a strap. Um, and lastly, you get instruction manual. Um, let me quickly open the instruction manual to show you guys how. So obviously you got the this product. Okay, so they call it leg stretch. Um, yeah, and they sh show you the instruction how to s install it, pretty much forward. And then you're supposed to, from time to time, you pull, and then you're supposed to extend your leg. Um, as you see, the strap go along the middle of the rod, and then go around your waist. So you're supposed to tie the uh, strap onto that. But obviously, you don't really need the strap. You could also use your hand to pull on it and try to help uh, spread out your leg. So the main idea of this is that when you pull on the metal ball, the two corner ones are supposed to open up and try to uh, make your leg go wider and to improve your spread or stretch, I guess, flexibility. Obviously, this is currently my max right now. If you guys are looking at it... <laughs> Obviously, I'm not really flexible, um, and um, let me, oh, yeah, it hurt. So let me quickly show you guys that each of these has a pin where you could push in to adjust, and this is actually to the max. Um, for people that who are a lot more flexible, they could actually adjust this. So the further in, when the shorter this is, the harder it get, and obviously. Mine is already to the max ready as well. So like I say, I'm really newbie, not flexible at all. So I had to use the easiest setting. But even with this easy setting, I'm still not able to do it. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, if they have another pin, that would be great. But this is actually to the max. Uh, in terms of quality, it's not that great. Obviously, you could tell this is misaligned. It should have been like this. But um, I guess it's not that great. Um, pretty cheap. Uh, I did notice that some areas there's rust on it, so I don't know if he, if the video could pick it up. This is actually a little bit of rust. Um, it's very cheap metal, hollow, uh, very thin. Um, both sides has a little bit of rust on these, right here. So, um, I guess this side is not that bad. Yeah, this side is not too bad, but yeah, but I guess the other one has rust on it so that that's basically the quality of it but like i say you get extra uh strap right here that you could use to tie and go around your waist and you also have additional uh grip um uh, it came in one of these uh long box right here has chinese writing on it which i don't understand it um yeah let me quickly show you guys so you Obviously, you put one of the leg um, near your ankle on one side, and then the oh, I can't reach the second one right here. But obviously, you don't want to flex your leg, you want to keep it straight, so that's the straight. And then the next step you want to do is pull at it so that um, you could lean forward, flex yourself. So, you want to pull at the, the metal ball right here. Obviously, I bet he could. <laughs> Flex it, you want to pull out it, and then, um, oh, yeah, 
that's it so the one about this is that i'm not sure is it because i'm doing it in the carpet but when i do pull at it look at this the top part kind of raised up so obviously this quality is not that great i'm sure the, they do have more uh, online they do sell these uh for like 40 50 bucks one which is probably be a lot more better quality and a lot more heavier because this thing like weigh about probably only like five pound or four pound very lightweight um even the that thing is made out of plastic so that thing is plastic and i'm not sure is it because i'm currently doing it on the carpet that's why it has like friction on it but basically the point is that when you pull forward um the two legs on the side um supposed to arch outward and then trying to stretch it but i currently right now i'm actually feeling it right here on my thigh side is actually stretching it right now i'm actually feeling a lot of, uh, uh tendon pressure right now i guess could call underneath it, the the median side of it so yeah but other than that that's the plan um you're supposed to i guess supposed to have a good routine out of it so you're supposed to do it every morning uh, for for a certain amount of uh, time so i'm just going to keep trying to do that every morning uh, probably just stretch it for every morning for 10 minutes uh, just standing like that i think overall uh the time when time go by your legs you're able to be more a lot more flexible and you're able to stretch it out a little bit more but anyway yeah my product review on this thing called leg stretcher or leg extension or leg split uh, i got this from walmart like i say online order roughly about 16 dollars with the free shipping um took about two weeks two and a half week or something like that came with the strap two additional um grip um it was wrapped in these uh, bubble wrap and then that box right there but yeah that's pretty much it um if question or comments leave it below um you could also leave it below instruction on different way of using this equipment different way <coughs> but in terms do i recommend people buying it mm, not really i don't know i don't see it as um well currently at this moment as really good product look because when I pull out it, it came up like that. So I'm not sure if that's normal or maybe this thing is just cheap or whatever. Um, but the point is that I just thought that I shouldn't do that. It just should have, you know, just put pressure on it. The second thing I want to mention is that um, I'm sure there's another way to do it at home. You could probably do it without this equipment as well. Um, mostly for me, I feel like probably just going to take up space, but I'm going to try it since i already bought it there's no point returning it for 16 bucks um yeah other than that if you have any questions leave a comment if you guys have any suggestion on different variety of ways of using this as an exercise uh, i'm sure you could use this to adapt and to modify a different variety of way of using it i don't know maybe you could do make it into an on exercise or something <laughs> i'm not really sure but yeah leave a comment and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.